viewers welcome back for another video today's video is brought to you by nyc trends they sent me this main concept red carpet premiere wig it is a six by six synthetic lace front wig and her name is adeline adeline retails for 36.95 and comes in black dark brown platinum blonde and several others the color that i have her in is ice purple because y'all know i'm extra now she does have Futura fiber that is curling iron safe. She has combs and adjustable strap and her lace is French, which is new to me because I've never heard that. But yeah, her lace is French. Now we're going to get into the review. And if you are interested in this wig, stay tuned. We're back and this is Adeline and again this is a red carpet premiere at Lace Wig. It has a 6x6 six six, um, parting space so I'm excited because it's really pretty. Um, it has wider parting capability, enhanced parting. Alright so let's do this unboxing. This is Adeline. She is popping. Oh y'all I'm so excited about this wig. She's gorgeous. She is gorgeous. So straight off the bat, out of the packet, she is this nice past, uh, pastel purple. It, it seems pink, so I wanna say pink, but it's pink here and then it kinda goes into this purple shade on the inside there. That is so freaking gorgeous. Very baby doll-like. Very baby doll-like. I love the waves of this hair and it's very bouncy. I'm excited. This is where, how the lace parting looks. The lace part area. I told it's on the outside there for you guys. The inside. This is what the inside looks like. Okay, very nice. Um, this is the amount of lace, obviously. And the parting space goes pretty far into the middle. Not The inside looks like this. It looks like it has three combs um, at the top and one at the nape and an adjustable strap. So you have two combs here, one, two. You have one right here on the inside of the head, which is an important place. So it goes right here so that it helps lay it flat. And then you have one at the nape and an adjustable strap. So I'm excited about that. I always use the adjustable strap, the lace. I'm gonna show you guys how I cut my lace. Okay, so now the wig is nicely secured on the mannequin head. She looks nice and comfy. She's beautiful. So far, no shedding. All right, so we're gonna pull the hairs out of the way really quickly. You would love, to, I would love to have a clip. Usually I would have a clip to keep the hairs out of the way. I don't have that right now. So I'm gonna use my hand. But you guys know I use my razor a razor comb here to cut my lace. And at this time, you can also cut baby hairs if you like. Now, Adeline looks like she does come with some baby hairs, which it doesn't say that on here. It doesn't say anything about the baby hairs. It says Swiss lace flexibility, breathable hand tied. Of the, but yeah, but it doesn't say anything about baby hairs. But it looked like it did come with some shorter, shorter area around here. So I'm cutting baby hairs and I'm already seeing some. It does have some baby hairs. Huh. Right there. She has some baby hairs already. So there's some other baby hairs right there. And that is perfect. All right, so we can go ahead, take her off of the mannequin head here. Okay, so now that we've cut Adeline's lace, we're gonna go ahead and put Adeline on my head. I do need a wig cap. I know I had a wig cap somewhere on here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to use the adjustable straps and put all of them on. Okay, 
<laughs> Boy. I already know what some of y'all was saying. Okay, so this is her on. I'm trying to figure out where exactly. This is the parting space. Phenomenal parting space. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal parting space. I kind of want to see and you can literally part from here. So you have this area up until this area. So you have from here to here parting, okay? And it goes back here. Nice. This is nice. So you can do array of things. I kind of like the to the side look right now. So I'm just gonna style her really quickly. All right, so I started out by still, even though there were some uh, baby hairs, I did pull out some baby hairs just to kind of add on. I used this got to be spray because honestly, I wasn't gonna keep this wig on long. But in reality, I would use gel, some got to be gel or some type of edge control to really keep the baby hairs down. I just kind of did this this way just so that you guys could get the idea of how I was gonna style the wig. This is not how I would style the wig if I was actually gonna leave the house because you can see that my hair is still peeking through. So that's not gonna work. Definitely not for a color wig like this. You want to apply some gel or something, some mousse that will hold the baby hairs down around the hairline so that it looks more realistic. But like I said, I was planning on taking this off so that's why I just did that little bit just so you guys can see and get the gist of the styling. I also used Topic in my hairline to kind of give the illusion of a darker root. If you're gonna do a hair uh, color like this, um, you know, some people like to make sure that the roots are darker. It makes it look a little bit more realistic. I just did a little bit. I might go in with a marker later on to make it um, a little bit darker, but this kind of gives you the idea. And then I added some lashes because the look just was not doing it for me without the lashes. I added a little bit of layers on the side that I wanted to swoop and voila. I love this wig, it's beautiful, it's flowy, it is synthetic so it does tangle, you definitely want to take your time with it and not wear this every day, but for the most part the color is popping and it's a wig to wear when you're just going to go out and have some fun. Hope you guys liked the video, please comment down below and let me know what you think and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay royal!